Well, it's such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. It's about just under 50 degrees. So I thought I'd go for a walk. I haven't done it for a long, long time. <sighs> Some old mining stuff that uh, my landlord has set up out here. There are gold mines up in Virginia City, which is in that direction, about 14 miles. It's kind of a neat helmet. An old saw blade. Ore cart. Man, can you imagine? And it's all on rails too, which is kind of cool. My landlord is extremely thoughtful. All right, get back to my house and get to work on my clay. I think I'll go in the side door. It's a nice day for a walk. I hope I have a few more like that. All right. I'm going to get started on the clay. Set up my cameras and everything. All right. I can go upstairs and get changed in the clothes for working on my clay. Time to play with some clay. Felt good to go for a walk. I did sound really winded though. <laughs> Gee, Merry Christmas. Uh, well, I haven't walked since before my accident a couple of months ago where I stepped into a hole three feet deep and it really wrecked my leg. And I just have not been able to do that because every time I go walk, I just aggravated my leg even more. So I had to wait for it to heal. It's not completely healed, but it was healed enough to do get out and at least start walking. And uh, I really enjoyed that. Okay, I'm going to check something here. I'm not happy with this uh, clay the way it is right now. I got to check my proportions here. Because this looks really long and by golly it is I'll be damned how about that now is this one yeah this one's too long too all right I gotta rearrange those I'll go ahead and do that now I thought that looked mighty long but anyway, it just, uh, I'm winded now, but when I go for a short walk, and that was a short walk, um, I wish I could have shown you it all, but my damn camera popped out of its holder and was aimed up towards the sky. I was wearing my neck 
um, camera mount and it moved, it, it popped out of its uh, connection. I didn't have it connected right. And so it uh, went haywire. Next time I go for a walk, I'll hopefully have it better done. Wow, that was really, really off. Okay. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. And I gotta find my knife. Oh, there it is. You know how it is when you see something and you just say, that doesn't look exactly right. And uh, it sure didn't. I think I'm just going to make the uh, this part with clay. As soon as I can find my pliers. All right, I shortened uh, this bone, this uh, femur, I guess it would be called. And I made sure, I double-checked the measurements. The, the measurement between here and the socket is the same as between here and there, and between there and there. And so, once you get that, it's not... Too hard to do it. I just screwed up. That's all. I screwed up. I tried recording yesterday. I had to go to Bozeman again, but uh, my plans were thwarted because I had gotten back so late that evening. I just was totally wiped out, worn out. And uh, I just didn't feel like doing anything last night except going to bed, which I didn't do, but... Okay. So the bone needs to come out there. See, all these measurements are exactly the same. The distance between the tip of the hip to the uh, ball of the joint is the same as between there and the, and I got I got that too long again. So I'll take that down just a little. That's why you got to have a pair of calipers. You got to just constantly check yourself. Well, as I said the other day, I now have my DVDs or my instructional videos uh, on digital feed off the internet. Uh, I don't know the exact term. I'm not a computer whiz. It took me how many years to figure out that I could reduce the size of my videos and put them on Vimo for crying out loud. <laughs> I'm a little slow. But I eventually catch on. Um, anyway, I uh, I'm really happy the way I've got that worked out now, and I'll have them all completely on Vimo by next week. I'm only allowed five gigabytes of uh, of uh, download onto Vimo per week on the pro program that I've got. I've I can't afford to go the heavy duty, you know, 80 bucks a month program. I went for the uh, camera, what it was, but it wasn't very expensive and it's well worth it. That looks a lot better. That doesn't look as, 
like a kangaroo now. It looks more like a horse. I'm going to take this off this board eventually once I get everything sculpted in and uh, then I'll work on the uh, limbs a little bit different at that point. I'm just going to sketch these in for now and uh, I think what I'm going to do is start walking in the morning instead of waiting until the evening. That is, if the weather's good. I, I'm a fair weather health guy. <laughs> if it's bad outside, I ain't going to walk. I think this is all I'm going to have time to do tonight is just to work on these legs and, uh, you know, just get the uh, bone structure at least to the point where tomorrow I can start uh, putting muscles on. This is how I taught myself to sculpt horses. I just started with the uh, bone structure and I worked up. Had all right, that's going to be it for today. And I'm sorry I've talked so much, but uh, I feel good today. I really do, and it felt good to get out and walk. All right, everybody, have a great night, and I'll see you next time. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.